this is amazing. We just went to Mars. Hey, big round of applause now for the Americans going to Mars. And this is the official image of them landing there. It's like, isn't it amazing how they were landing there and they had, they already had an airbrush artist with his easel set up to paint it land that quick. It's like unbelievable. How many people think this is real? This is the official landing. Oh, then they got another one with a, a metal sort of pipe and sand in black and white. That's proof. They were there, man. They're landing on the sand. Check it out. That's it. There you go, some more images. This is what they're doing on Mars right now. Moving around with their little rover. That's a real photo, look at that. that was, this is another, this is another. They're on Mars right now, look at that. This thing's moving around, I don't even know what it does. It's like a, a weird sort of uh, sample collector. It's a spider, it's a spider sample uh, sampler? It's a spider sampler, sand sampler? It's a sand sampler, they call it. It's getting spice. It's, get, it's getting spices from Mars. Yeah, yeah, go to the next one. And they're on Mars, that's unbelievable. There it is. There's your rule. You know when they took that? 1969. First lunar mission to the moon. You know, the first lunar mission to the moon wasn't so much about going to the moon. It was about having an event. So you can go high enough to take a picture after 500 years to prove it was a ball. <laughs> they went to the moon before they crossed the Antarctic. The two most watched televised events in history, the moon landing and the towers falling. saw the lunar landing and they're, they're swear on it because they heard it on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> CBS put up screens all over in the Central Park, along with NBC, you know, so they could work with groupthink dynamics. Reality is reinforced by group dynamics witnessing an event. This is amazing. These are supernovas. They never caught this many suns colliding and actually exploding at the same time by Hubble telescope. And actually I have a close-up of this. Amazing. This is actually the, the most distant shot they have of, of our galaxy. Here's a close-up. They came up with a new, a new term for this, collisionary supernovas, because suns were actually meeting and exploding at the same time. In a Christmas tree. <laughs> this guy's a pretty smart right there. This is Mars. This is the surface of Mars. Yeah. Very sandy. The surface of Mars without the black background. <laughs> and there you go. It's just a desert. Oh, this is sunrise. On Star Trek. <laughs> It's a Hollywood image that looks real. You know, photo of painting. 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 This is actual NASA here, pause. You see this cloud formation there? You see like, you see Africa? You see the shadow line on the top of Africa? Next image. They reversed it. Our boys at NASA, they took the same image, they just flipped it. was a planet? Yeah. What happened to that? We were at nine planets and now we're at eight? Like, and everybody's like, huh, okay, we were off on our solar system. Uh, we're not nine planets, we're eight. 
I'm sorry, I noticed that. Everybody else went back to bed. You know, like, you know, like, you know, like what say, it's nine planets going around the sun. And then suddenly, like, in the year 2000, what, seven, eight? After Y2K, uh, Pluto's not a planet. That's, no, no. You can't tell me for 500 years that there's nine planets and then just try to slip it in the Yahoo front page. Uh, we discovered Pluto's too small to be a planet. Sorry. <laughs> there's only eight. Like, come on. You can't just do that. And I go, mm -hmm, and suck my thumb. And, you know, what about the guy who works at NASA and he just studied Pluto? That's all he learned. He went to university. This poor sucker. What's he doing now? He's on the street, penniless. There's nothing to do. He just studied one planet. You know how they get become specific in their physics and they study a planet from a picture they've never seen. They're like, I'm an expert on Jupiter, man. <laughs> no, 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 I know Mercury inside out. I find out the news. It's like, uh, what are you doing here, man? Well, I came in for work. <laughs> Dude, didn't you hear the news? <laughs> what? Pluto's not a planet, man. <laughs> you were off, man. You were way off. It's a moon. You screwed up. It's too small. For the light emissions were big enough to be called a planet. Because <laughs> apparently that light in the sky, they were saying, was that picture they've been feeding was Pluto. <laughs> Suddenly one day, diminished rapidly. So they had to come up with something real quick because that thing they pointed at the sky, that's Pluto. That's moving around. It's like, oh, what? suddenly one day everybody's like, hey, uh, what happened to the light on Pluto? It's like, uh, did, that, uh, did that bulb go out? And then there was a big debate. Well, we can't decide whether it's a planet based on how much light we see. This is ridiculous. You've got to give us more to work on. Like, uh, like a rocket that sends us there to check out to see if it's big enough to be a planet. You know, like, no, nobody's going out. This is, I mean, one day NASA could come out and say something, and we'd all be, like, repeating it. Like, we'd just be like, yeah. It's like, uh, we found a distant planet off the distant moon Io of Jupiter. And I'd be like, wait a minute, are you saying, the physics nerds at NASA going, wait a minute, are you saying that moons can have their own planets? That's crazy. You saying planets can revolve around moons now? Planets can revolve around moons, and they'd be flipping out. Oh, we can. Moons have planets too, man. It just keeps going. 